So some of the basic use cases, um, and obviously there's many more use cases, but um, lack of encryption at rest or in transit, this is a big one. Um, typical uh, configurations of some serverless environments uh, will have HTTP on turned on by default, even though they're not really communicating on that port, it's still turned on, and that could potentially be an attack vector if someone spins something up that's listening. Improper key management, uh, so API secrets, uh, it, authentication keys, those kind of things. Not only do you have the capability in the cloud environments, AWS, with using the key management systems, but you can also do auto rotation of those key manage of those keys themselves. So that way, if one would get out there for whatever means, because you're using the management systems, being able to uh, pull those keys or being able to take them out um, of rotation of need or automatically rotate them. And that's a big one as well. Account permissions. This one is something that we're asked all the time. And basically it says, hey, can you look at all my users that are inside of my environment uh, from an admin, from a dev standpoint, and what permissions are they actually being given? And a lot of the times we'll, we'll find that there's overly permissible permissions for users as we break down um, just the, the whole thing. And, and it's based on the policies, it's based on the roles that are assigned, there, there are governing or there's um, you know, embedded roles uh, versus the actual like uh, roles that they were assigned to. Maybe someone said, oh, okay, this developer needed X amount of uh, access but it turned out that they gave them a, a more admin privilege and then that was never pulled back. So those are the kind of things that you can catch with these tools as well. Um, MFA detection, misconfigured network connectivity, all those pieces um, that they look for. And again, it, it all comes down to be, the way that these work is you can build your own policies, your own pieces, digging into the API and of all the cloud security posture managements I've used, everyone's got their own query language to basically query not only the API piece, but the JSON that comes back to be able to look at certain keys, look at different pieces. And with that, you have the capability of not just using the pre can stuff, which I, it's always nice for uh, me as an engineer. I like having that, that visibility into, okay, what are you actually alerting on? And a lot of these tools have that visibility where it's, okay, it's not just showing you, hey, you're out of compliance and you should fix it. It's not, it's going to show you exactly how it was detected, where was it identified and how can you fix it? Um, and the explanation of why you should fix it or why this might be a false positive, depending on what you're doing.